welcome back to another interesting video if you're new here welcome to this channel feel at home for the returning subscribers thank you for the support i don't take it for granted i do appreciate your support so today's video i'm going to do uh, i'm redoing a previous video due to many questions that need to be answered so i've answered most of the questions in this video so i hope you enjoy the video and you get something that will help you so comment down below after watching the video and tell me what you like me to tell you more about this gas oven so let's get into the video So welcome back to my kitchen so I'm going to give you some details about the gas oven the this cooker that I have here so this is a complete gas cooker stand standing cooker so as you can see all it has only four burners and all the four burners are completely gas so as you can see so as we go to the knobs here you can see so this is the timer this is the this is the skewer and this is the bulb the oven bulb this is for the first burner as you can see indicated this is for the burner just next to the first burner at the top here this is for the oven the bottom one the bottom side of the oven and this is for the upper burner of the oven this is the burner on the le on the right at the top there and this is the last burner on the right at the bottom so here we have the oven so here we have the oven this is the oven so for this oven So I'm going to so this is the <coughs> sorry so this is the the oven section so as you can see this side this is the the bottom burner and this is where I light the bottom flames as you I don't know if you can see there that is where the, of the burner is so when I light here the burner lights round sorry for that noise that is the skewer I don't know if you can see it let me show you so so that is the skewer I don't know if you can you can see it rotating that is where I place the skewer so that is where it rotates and the light is there the light the light the bulb the bulb is up there so when you come to the top part the burner is here this is where i i light when i want to maybe grill or roast something so i light the upper part so when uh when i light it you see this part this part is where lights round like this round that part that is where it lights so i don't know if you have noticed the skewer the skewer and the and the bulb uses the same 
the same knob this knob here so there's no way you can light the bulb without without the skewer rotating that is how this stand alone cooker works so this oven so this oven has has one it has one two three four sections where i can place my wire rack while i'm baking or grilling so in most cases when i'm when i'm baking i usually use this step the middle one the second step from from the bottom that is where i see i get good results when i push it up one step it takes a little bit longer for whatever i'm baking to be ready and when i put it at the first at the first step the whatever i'm cooking will burn before it is properly cooked so that is what i do with with baking so with grilling i've not yet i've not yet used the grill but i'm planning to do a video on that but not not soon but i'll try doing it so this oven does not have a fan so it is important for you to at least allow some space at the back so that air can circulate without obstruction and then another thing that i have noticed is when when the burner starts producing the heat since i use since i have this thermometer oven thermometer i've realized that when i place let me show you so this is where i place my this is where i place my wire rack so i'll place the content here that that is in a baking tin so and this is where i place my my oven thermometer so when i place the oven thermometer there the temperature at this area is lower than the temperature at the far end so because the temperature at the far end is higher i usually place my content at the middle not at the front not at the rear back but at the middle so that i get the right temperature so the reading might on my oven thermometer might be saying maybe 180 but at the far end it could be maybe 200 degrees celsius so i hope i've answered most of the questions that i have been getting from a previous video that i did uh some months ago and that is where i've redone this video to explain more but i want to do a video on how i bake bread on this cooker and where i place my where i position my temperature on my oven so that if you don't have an oven thermometer and you have this you have similar stand standing cooker oven like mine you can place the temperature the knob temperature where it is required so i don't know if you have noticed 
my my cooker my, my 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 oven does not have a timer or no it it does have a timer but it does not have a temperature gauge that is why i bought this oven thermometer to help me know what temperature i'm cook, i'm baking my my content with so the only part of this cooker that uses electricity is the skewer and the and the bulb and of course the lighter and this lighter <coughs> excuse this lighter <coughs> only lights the burners for the oven i have to do it with a match stick the ignition the ignition button does not light the oven so that's it for today hope i've helped someone and answered some of your questions so until next time thanks for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i post a new video so bye for now